Hey, what's going on guys? Today I have the Samsung Galaxy Tab A with S Pen and 4G LTE capability. We're gonna do 29 tips and tricks to help you out and get you acquainted with your new tablet and help you get started with some things that you may not know or some things that you may already know, but just some subtle reminders. And these tips range from beginner to intermediate to advanced. So just keep that in mind. All right, so the first tip I wanna show you guys is swiping down to get your notification bar, just like that. So you see how I swipe down on the screen? Get the notification bar. So all you have to do to activate that is go into long hold the screen, go into home settings, and then activate this button right here, swipe down to activate your notification panel. Now the second tip is cool. You have to swipe down twice like that, or you could just use three fingers and swipe down once and then go right here into the three dots click quick panel and then it'll show brightness at the top right here and show media devices that are connected at that time so right here you're gonna see the brightness at the top <clears throat> and media devices which is right below it so I think that's kind of cool also you can actually go right here where it says status bar and then show battery at the top so now you can actually show that and it'll show your percentage of your battery too. Now this next one is in home screen. What you wanna do is long press right here, go to this option, and when you click that option, it's gonna say show apps. So right here, when you when you look on your, your uh, screen, it's gonna say lock home screen layout. You can lock your app screen layout, but you can also have the apps button right here turned on. So when I, when you turn that off, let me show you it erases the app tray button so let me go back and now let me just go back in there so I can show you what I'm talking about so you go right back here so now activate that button and then you go back you're gonna see you have that button for the app tray I mean you could always slide up but it's cool just to have that button right there as well now one of the things that's really cool about this tablet is it has the S Pen right here on the bottom right hand corner. You just, you could you could see it's spring loaded so I'm gonna tap that. But one of the things that's cool is that you can actually take out the pen and I'm gonna show you right now. All right, so now that we have that pen out, what I really like is the widget for the pen. So you go down right here where it says widgets. You're gonna go to the pen option because you're, you're gonna add it to your home screen as a shortcut. It's gonna add give you three different options. I like this one because it gives you the option to choose between all different types of things from voice notes, pictures, painting, notes, and you can write as well. So right here, if you click that, it's gonna bring you to your text. You can make a quick text note. Right here, you can make a quick sketch note, which is kind of cool. Right here, you could just do your thing and you could start painting right away as a shortcut. And then right here, you could add your different attachments as well. And then here, you're gonna be able to basically make voice notes. So I, I like that shortcut there because at the tip, you can see it's already making the voice note. Let me stop it right here and then delete that. But I think that's really cool. Another thing that a lot of people ask me about multiple devices, how do you hide apps? So basically go to the long hold that and then click that button. You're going to click this hide apps button down below. It's going to give you the option to select the ones that you want to hide from, you know, your significant other, maybe a kid or something like that. And maybe they, they just, every time they come over, they want to play Fortnite or Call of Duty or PUBG. You can hide the PUBG game just by clicking that right there, then click done. So when you go back in, you're going to be able to see right here, he's going to say, where's the PUBG? You're going to tell him you uninstalled it because you don't want him to kill your battery. But then when you're ready to, sh when he's ready to bounce, you can go ahead, pop that back open and unhide the app. So I definitely think that's pretty cool. The app will be right back where it was before. So there it is. I think that's a really cool option to hide your apps. Now, if you go into home screen again, there seems to be a lot of tricks here. There is actually the home screen layout where you can choose between home screen only and then apply. And essentially it's gonna basically be, all your apps will be on the home screen just like that. 
there's not going to be an app tray so all your home your, your apps will be in one location so you don't have to like search for it but you can always add your you know your your your, your app tray back just by clicking home screen layout then clicking home screen with apps and then app tray and you're gonna see right here you do have your app tray by swiping up or hitting this button as well now another thing that's important is temporarily muting notifications and sounds what you can do is go down twice or three finger swipe down and go into your sound so just go right here into settings you're gonna locate sound and what you're gonna go ahead and do is once you locate the sound option and it should be right here let me see there it is sounds you can temporarily mute sounds here so you can click this button it'll say for how long you could put an hour two hours or you could customize it and put a little timer thingy right here but you can always if you have like a meeting or something you could always temporarily mute it for how long the meeting is is, is going to be and then also if you go down to sound quality and effects you have the ability to customize and tailor the sound of your personal preference with the equalizer then you do get this adapt sound which will tailor the sound quality to your age and it'll give you the best frequencies possible for your ears now another thing that you can do with this device is hide bixby home so you want to slide up and tap this button right here and go to settings and uh actually go right here slide up and go all the way to the left um, of the screen and let me just show you right now all right guys so in order to disable bixby home long hold the screen sw uh, swipe all the way to the left and you're gonna see this button right here which will you're gonna deactivate that button and then you're gonna see that bixby home is now gone from your tablet now another thing that I thought was really cool is that you can create a collage in your gallery just by tapping on the gallery icon, then go into um, this right hand top corner button, create a collage with that button. You're going to type a few of your different options here, then you can click the create collage button. So you can see, wow, that looks really cool. This is good for thumbnails too. So look at that. It's going to create the collage automatically. Um, I might even use this for some thumbnails for YouTube. I think this is going to be awesome for just quick stuff like that. You can also customize the grid lines, add these cool shapes in there as well. You know, kind of create some really cool technical stuff here. Really fancy stuff here. You can also mess around with the colors here. So it's giving you an option here for see I'm playing around with the colors and stuff like that. So. This is nuts, but um, let me just save that. And now you can see I created my first collage. I'm going to go into gallery, save that. And now it's going to be saved as a collage file. So now let me go back in the gallery, open that up. Here it is. There's my, my little collage that I just made. This looks pretty cool for my first one ever too. Now, right now we're in Samsung notes. Let's say you're in Samsung Notes and you create a new note, but let's say you don't want your finger to touch the screen. So look, you could do this. Let's say you're creating a note. I don't know what I'm, I just scribble, scrabble, but click the right hand corner and then turn off finger drawing. So now when you do that, you can see that it does have that option of finger draw. We're gonna turn that off. And now look, I can, I can only scroll on the screen with my finger. I cannot draw anymore, but you can actually turn that back on. So now you can actually draw with your finger if you do so desire. I'm gonna turn that off. All right, we're still really early in, but I still congratulate you if you made it this far. So in accessibility, we're gonna cover the pen sensitivity. So you can go right here where it says uh, visual enhancement. And then you can see that right here. These are some of the options that we do have you can remove animations to actually make everything look a little bit quicker um, so i think that's going to be cool but if you if you like the animations you can keep those another thing that's pretty cool inside of here is um, something called live transcribe which you can download the app it's going to be right here you can download that 
and if you have a hard time seeing you can activate that feature as well but what you want to do is go to interaction and dexterity and this is where you're going to have the ability to uh, change the the um op the touch and delay option from 0.5 to one second to 0.1 and you could even customize it right here um hit to less than that so you could save it it's my i saved it to 0.6 so that's super quick now the tap duration you can also change as well um but now as you can see it's super quick it actually makes it a lot quicker um when you're tapping with that touch interaction so this thing is opening up super quick you can see within 0.2 seconds now the app is literally opened up so i, I kind of like that see if i touch this one immediately it's going to open up kind of makes it a little bit quicker here so tapping it and you can see it loads up if it's loaded up already it'll automatically just open up but that's going to increase some of the speed times which is cool now another really cool feature that this tablet has is if you go to the recent apps menu you got this thing called pop-up menu so you could long hold the item, go right here. You're gonna have your Facebook on the screen as a mini screen. And I think you can get up to like four of these things. So let me just see. Um, you, could, you could even minimize it here or you can minimize it right here. Wait, actually, so let me show you. You go to recent apps, long hold it, then they do the pop-up thing. Now there's a way you can close it out and make it smaller right here into a little icon right there. Then you can go back into your most recent apps. Let's say you have something else you wanna look at, like Twitter, pop-up window. Now you have that, so you have your, your Facebook, you have your Twitter, you have two right here, so you could, you could just kinda like play around with those. You know, you could scroll on those. They're both right there. I think you could open up a lot more as well, if I'm not mistaken. So let me just go into the let's see google keep pop up oh you can do the split screen as well calendar so you can see that's how you would enter the split screen let's get out of that by swiping up i'm gonna go right back into twitter right here and you can see it groups it up click that one opens it up right there close it again it's going to be right there grouped on the side let's say i want to open up the calendar in in, a, in in this fashion so you could just slide up one more time long hold and then open up and pop up menu and then look it's right there so you could minimize that one so now you've got three on the side here just really good multitasking with this pen i really do like that feature now another thing that samsung did is that they created something in uh, the samsung notes so if you go to the Samsung notes and I'm going to show you right now, you have to create a new note. So let me just go back right here. Okay. So you can see open a new note right here. Cause so when you're in new notes, you can actually create a slew of different uh, pens for yourself. So they'll, they'll be right here under the favorites. So you'd click the option to add a pen. If you want to add a pencil, you can click the color. You can click the different, how thick you want the pen stroke. And you can actually click the color you want, brown, black, blue, anything you want, add it. Now you have the pencil. Let's say you want to add a highlighter, a yellow highlighter. Now you got the yellow highlighter. You can also add as many as you want. You have this nice pen right here. It's a Sharpie with a fine tip. Let's add that one as well. So now you can just um, kind of switch out pens. Um, so whenever you want, it's going to give you that option to just have those at your own free will. Now, another thing that this tablet has is reminders. So if you're about to forget, like if you know you're, you're not the type of person that remembers everything in the world, all you'd have to do is uh, go into your reminders. So you could type that in here uh, right at the top. Uh, so you're going to click that, manage your reminders right here in the Google Assistant. It's got everything set up here for you. So all you have to do is click that option, add a new one, tell it what you want to add. Um, tomorrow at 9 p.m. I have to do laundry. What's the reminder? And then, you, you, you know, tomorrow at 9 p.m. I have to do laundry. 
Got it. I'll remind you tomorrow at 9 p.m. All right, so that was it. As easy as that, it's gonna remind you piece of cake. Now this next tip, you will have to sign into the Samsung um, services. What you will do is click this option right here, which says call and text on other devices. Now this device does have 4G LTE, but let's just say you wanna um, sign in with your, your Samsung account, you can actually do so, and it will let you um, use the other devices for calling and texting on with, um, you can call and text on other devices as well through this number, which is kind of cool. Now, another thing that's cool is on the Android 10, they give you gestures. So it's really cool because they're going to give you full gestures and everything like that. So all you'd have to do is go into motions and gestures. And you can see that you have some options right here for um, smart stay, smart alert, easy mute and things of that nature. Um, so those are really cool for, you know, like just getting to th certain things. But what I really wanted to show you was the the gestures for, you know, like the interface. So I think that's going to be in device display right here. Which I think so. Here is nav bar. And now you're going to have the full gestures. You can see more options here. It's going to give you the option to swipe from the bottom like the old school way or swipe from the sides and the bottom. And I do actually prefer this one much more. Another thing that's really cool with this pen is it lets you read full sentences of things that are cut off. So for instance, this is gonna be cut off right here, but you could always read the full thing by hovering over top of the text, The Secret Rapture of America. This says um, unboxing, vlog style, like the, the last part was cut off. This one says, here's why. So you could read everything. This one's finished, so I don't have to do that, but all the text that you can't read, hover over it with your S Pen it'll finish the text for you. And now the pen is really cool. Let's say you see something on social media that stood out to you um, and you just wanna maybe show a friend like what's going on. Like you could share it with the pen. So all you have to do is pull out the pen, click it right here. Let's go to select smart right right here. You're gonna wait for a second or so. You can actually click this tool, which is a lasso and then just Hover it right over that thing. It's gonna cut it out immediately. So now you're left with that image. If there is text, you can extract it, copy and paste. You have the ability to draw on this thing right here. You can see, you can make, so you can see right there. So now you have the ability to draw on it. Yummy. Let me put yummy. You could even adjust the pen tool, I guess. Uh, so that's kind of cool. Then you could go right here and sh save it or share it. Something that I really think is really cool and helpful. One of the things about this pen is it does offer a, a bunch of features built in. So click that. Now you're gonna see you have a bunch of different options for shortcuts and you get one, two, three, four, five. But over here on the left side is this little gear button, hit that. And what's gonna happen is you're gonna hit this option right here for shortcuts. And now you can change all the shortcuts up to five of them wait for them to load and then right here I put all my shortcuts here on the side so you can actually replace those but you know you know um, these are, would be the ones you could just remove Facebook remove Instagram remove Spotify remove pen up remove that one and then you could just put your the other ones that you do so desire you know SoundCloud things like that Samsung notes, I already have it up there. Why would I add it again? But you know, you get the idea. Keep notes you could put in here, Instagram, things of that nature, Twitter, and then it's up to five extra ones. And then that would be that. It would save automatically. Now, another thing that's really clutch is Samsung Kids. This is a space completely for kids to use. You could get started right here. It's gonna ask you to update it. I don't use this because I don't have a kid in the house or anything of that nature, but there's always going to be some kid or maybe, you know, like a nephew, niece, aunt, or cousin that may want to use your tablet, but you don't want them to see all your private information, like your emails, contacts, things of that nature. All you have to do is set up this separate space. It's setting it up right now. And once that's all set up, you can allow the kid to use your tablet. So you can see it says, hi, kids, welcome, click next. Um, right here it's gonna say kids add kids space has been added so now it's got like all these different games you could download for the kid 
It's even got this space over here for, you know, the Galaxy Store, Legos, things of that nature. You get this cool dinosaur guy right here. Cool sound, cool sound effects. Um, so yeah, this is just for kids. Download the gallery, the camera. Everything here is just for kids. Nice sound effects. Uh, parental controls right here as well. M is password protected. Another thing that I did on here is move my apps, all of them to the SD card. In order to do that, go to settings right here. Just tap it real quick. Go to that button that says apps right here. So just click that, then go to the app that you wanna switch to your SD card, Call of Duty in this case. Go to storage, go to change, and you can see it's actually on the SD card already. But that's how you would do it. Just go to change, and you can change it to the internal storage or the SD card. Now another cool thing in phone is if you go into the settings option here, you can go to speed dial numbers, and you can add the numbers of the people you want to speed dial up to six and when you press that number and long hold it that name will come up and the number will too and you can call that person within seconds something that i find really helpful is in calendar this is going to be good for you business people keeping up with your calendar and things of that sort click this edit button right here where the pencil is and you can draw and write using the s pen to highlight different things on your calendar and such, let me just get out of here. Make this thicker, get the yellow one so it stands out from the black. Veterans Day, um, Thanksgiving, um, let me see. This day, remember to shop, I don't know. And then just go ahead, you could save it, share it, things of that nature. But I think that's really cool that you have that visual um, depiction of all your notes. So then when you save it, you, it's saved right there. Um, you could even, you know, go back and go to your gallery now. You have that image saved in your gallery somewhere. But once it's saved, you'll be able to share it with your friends or colleagues. Now, another cool feature is the screen while you're off to take notes. So you have to take the pen out and then there's an extra step. It doesn't just turn on. You actually have to double tap the pen one, two. So that activates the screen on. And then this is the Samsung Tab A S Pen Notes. And this pen is really responsive. It's just fast enough for everything I need to do. That screen right will be saved and you could just go on with your day. Pop the screen, the pen back in, you could hit the back button and now you're back on your tablet. Now, another thing that's really cool with this tablet is if you're connected to the Wi-Fi, it's got this really quick option to set up your, your tablet on another screen, a big screen. So. All you'd have to do is locate the option for, um, you know, quick share or, or screen sh smart view right here. Now, when you do that, you actually have to, um, it says right here, other tablet, select device to mirror your tablet's device. Now, you'd have to turn on your smart TV at this moment. Make sure it's connected to the Wi-Fi. Hit the button and it'll pull up whatever's on your tablet to your smart TV. I think that's really fast, really convenient, and really cool. So this next feature is really fun to play around with. In lock screen, you can click that option right here. Now this is the very last tip. Go to clock styles right here, and you can actually customize the clock color right here. You can tailor it to, let me see. I like teal right now. That's, I'm in a teal mood. Um, you can change the type right here from a various different types of clocks of, of um, different sort, different types of, this one looks really cool. I'm gonna save that one. Put your contact information right there. I'm not gonna do that because then I'll have you guys calling me. You also can change your shortcuts right here at the bottom, floating button on the middle or corner icons. And then it actually gives you what to put on the left icon and the right icon. So you can have 
those shortcuts designated right here, you can see those are the Samsung notes and the phone option. So, oh wait, I forgot. There's one last tip, guys. So let me just unlock this device. What you're gonna do is go into the settings options and you're gonna notice that this device gets a lot of updates. We actually have the latest update right here, October, September 1st security patch. You can see it's downloading. It's gonna, um, the software update can include, include, but is not limited to stability, bug fixes, improvements, and new and enhanced features. So make sure you should download this update. It's only 106 megabytes, it has the latest security patch, and it'll enhance your performance on your tab A. That is gonna be it for these tips and tricks. Let me know if you guys have any more, but I really do appreciate you guys for staying locked in with me and staying throughout the whole video. And if you did make it this far, you're the real one. I appreciate you 100%, but hopefully you guys have a great morning, afternoon, and depending on where you are, Later crew, peace.